दोस्तों नाउ टुडे वी डिस्कस ऑन द टेस्टिंग ऑफ टेलेज इम्प्लीमेंट्स डिस्प्लो मल्बर फ्लो एंड डिस्कारो वी डिस्कस ऑन द बीएसआई कोड यूज्ड फॉर टेस्टिंग ऑफ द डिस्प्लो एमबीप्लो एंड डिस्कारो अगेन वी डिस्कस ऑन द इनफॉरमेशन अबाउट द डिस्कारो डिस्प्लो एंड मल्बर then principle of soil cutting by disc plow uh, mb plow and disc harrow then now uh, general condition of testing of the implement then we discuss on the different types of the test field test and then quality of the work draft measurement fill consumption soundness of construction ease of adjustment and operation material uh, um composition of the disc flow and the flow and this arrow now you know the bsi is the bureau of indian standard codes used for the testing of disc flow mb flow and disc arrow for mb flow uh, they, these are the different uh, code used for the test code for the mulber flow is the 6288 and is 10691 is specification of the share of the tractor or trend mulber flow and for disc flow is is102233 that is specification of tractor disc flow and is different uh, uh, is code 6635716409217 and is 4366 are used for the disc scale now uh, you know the it is uh, disc flow it is the flow which cuts down and some cases uh, breaks the furrow slice by means of separately mounted uh, large steel disc and disc plow is uh, designed with a view to reduce the friction by making a rolling plow bottom instead of sliding plow bottom and types of plow are standard disc plow and vertical disc plow standard disc plow it consists of the uh, steel disc of 60 to 90 cm diameter set at a certain angle to direction of travel and each disc revolves on a stub axle in thrust bearing carried at the lower end of the strong standard which is bolted to the plow beam and the disc plow may be mounted type or tail type in more, uh, more mounted disc plow the side thrust is taken by the wheels of the tractor and sometimes a rear wheel is fitted to take a side thrust of the plow to some extent an intrail type uh, side thrust is taken by the furrow wheel of the plow this is the disc plow then vertical disc plow it is a plow which combines the principle of the regular disc plow and the disc harrow uh, used for shallow working in the soil this type of plow is also called the harrow plow or one way disc plow the spacing between the disc may be vary 20 to 25 cm for regular tractor drawn plow and the size of the disc varies 50 to 60 cm and the disc angle varies 40 to 45 degree this is a vertical disc plow now mold bowl plow is a very common implement is for the primary fun- tillage function what are the functions it cut the furrow slice it lift the soil it turn the soil furrow soil slice and it pulverize the soil and this is the normal drawn uh, mb plow you can see the different uh, components of the mb plow now the components of the mulber plow are shear it is a part of the plow bottom which penetrate into the soil and make a horizontal cuts below the surface mulbold it is a curve part which lift and turn the furrow slice land side it is the flat plate which bear again and transmit the rear side lateral thrust of the plow bottom to the furrow wall probably it is the part to which the other component of the plow bottom are attached and this is the uh, mp plows part the share mulbold frog and land side now disc harrow and implement to break up the soil to shallow depth to cut the weeds and to mix the material into the soil this harrow which perform the operation by means of set or numbers of set of concave 
steel disc and each disc uh, being uh, mounted on a common shaft single action disc arrow uh, with the two gangs placed end to end which throw the soil in opposite direction and double action disc arrow consists of the two or four uh, gangs in which set of one or two gangs follow behind the set up with the other one or two arranged in such a way that the front and back gangs throw the soil in opposite direction now the tandem type uh, disc arrow comprising the four gangs in which is gangs can angle in opposite direction offset type uh, disc arrow comprising of the two gangs and capable of being offset to either side of the center line of the tractor and trail uh, drawn by the but not mounted on a tractor and mounted is attached to the mounted type uh, arrow attached to the three point linkage of the tractor and to be carried by the tractor in a lifted position this is disc arrow single action disc arrow this is a disc arrow tandem type this is offset type of disc arrow you can see the different parts of the disc arrow uh, this is again the offset type trail type disc arrow Now the principle of soil cutting by disc plow, MB plow and disc harrow. Uh, in this plow, the standard disc plow usually have 3 to 6 blade space to cut 80 to 30 cm per disc. And the disc angle vary from 40 to 45 degree and the tilt angle vary from 50 to 25 degree. And the disc diameter are commonly between 60 to 70 cm. This is the uh, dia diagram figure shows the disc angle and tilt angle now the moldboard flow again the clearance is called the proper penetration and efficient work by the moldboard some clearance is provided in the flow and the clearance is called the suction of the flow uh, vertical section it is a maximum clearance under the land side and horizontal surface in the working position it is a vertical distance from the ground measured at the joining point of the shear and land side. Horizontal suction, it is the maximum clearance between the land side and a horizontal plane touching point of shear at its gunnel side and heel of the land side. And this is the side clearance, horizontal suction, vertical suction. Now the disc arrow differs from the disc flow in that there is no tilt angle and several uh, blades are mounted on a common axis called the gang and they are lighter and have a smaller wheels than disc killer. The gangs are always in a pairs with opposite disc orientation to balance the side uh, draft produced by each disc and disc harrow may be either mounted or pulled type. The disc diameter ranges from 40 to 80 cm and weight ranges from 20 to 200 kg per disc. The gang angle varies from 50 to 35 degree as measured from the line of perpendicular to the line of travel. This is a single action tandem and right hand offset type. Now the types of test uh, there are the uh, parameter considered for the laboratory test is checking of the specification then um, to check the hardness of the critical component to um, um, doing the chemical analysis of soil engaging components and to uh, check the wear of soil engaging component in field test uh, we take the width of cut for rate of work effective field capacity field efficiency and quality of the work i can check the parameter depth of cut soil inversion soil pulverization then draft measurement, fuel consumption, soundness of construction, ease of adjustment and operation. Now the general condition, the selection of the test sample is a very important process. Generally selected at random from the manufacturer by representatives of the testing institute. Then I can test of the uh, with the sample is uh, again an important process, the construction and operation features of the equipment to assess its real functions and performance then accuracy of the instrumentation is very important uh, so we get the proper data then selection of the power plot you know the plot should be rectangular 
with the side ratios to s to 1 isn't it and fill the operational pattern may be selected either uh, circuitous pattern continuous pattern there are different uh, patterns we can select for um, uh, the operation speed of operation is measured uh, the two poles uh, 20 meter apart are placed approximation in middle of the uh, test run on the opposite side also two poles are placed in a similar position 20 meter apart uh, so that uh, all four poles from corner of the rectangular the speed will be calculated from the time required for the machine distance to travel the distance of 20 meter between the assumed line connecting two poles on opposite side AC and BD you can see the figure of the speed of operation uh, measurement now the wheel slip is again important factor the distance covered by the tractor in given numbers of dry wheel uh, revolution decreases with the wheel slip therefore tractor power uh, tiller uh, operated implement wheel slip will be affect the speed of operation and in this speed of uh, operation uh, wheel slip we measure the speed uh, revolution at no load condition and revolution at the no load uh, condition now the duration of the test the test sample should be operated under different soil and surface condition for minimum period of 50 hours to establish its performance this test should be minimum period of three hours now the field pattern we check the location of the test plot size of test plot last crop grown topography of the field type of soil bulk density of the soil cone index of the soil and in laboratory test we check the specification chemical analysis wear test then uh, rate of work in case of the disc arrow we find out the rate uh, of the width of cut in this given formula for single disc flow double action disc flow and tandem disc arrow single action disc arrow double action disc arrow and tandem disc arrow now the effective fill capacity the actual fill capacity in terms of the area covered per hour is expressed as the effective field capacity now the field efficiency is the ratio of the effective field capacity and theoretical field capacity and theoretical field capacity is calculated by this formula now the quality of the work is depend upon the depth of cut soil inversion